So in this video we will be seeing how we can navigate the controls and functions palette in LabVIEW. Also we will be seeing the add-ons category and also how to add functions to the favorites category. To make the palettes appear, right click on the block diagram or the front panel to make the functions palette appear if you right click on the block diagram and right click on the front panel to make the controls palette appear. Click an object on the palette to place the object on the cursor so you can add it to the front panel or block diagram. If you click the thumb tag in the upper left corner of a palette to pin, pin the palette, you also can right click a VI icon on the palette and select open VI from the shortcut menu to open the VI. This option will not appear if the thumb tag is not clicked. In that case, you can only place the VI, but if you tag the thumbnail and then you go to a palette that has a sub VI and you right click it then these options appear for example open VI option in which case the polymorphic VI uh, opens And if you if you are if you select view as category either as icon or text and you go deeper in the menu then the click the black arrow on the left side of the controls or functions palette to expand or collapse palette categories. These arrows appear only if you set the palette category to category standard or category icons and text. Further, if you are deeper into a palette and your category is set to icons and text for example then the up to the owning palette appears if you click on it it takes you up one level in the palette hierarchy. Click this button and hold the mouse button down to display a shortcut menu that lists each sub palette in the path to the current sub palette. Select a sub palette name in the shortcut menu to navigate to the sub palette. This button appears only if you set the palette format to icons, icons and text or text. You can go up to the functions palette click and hold and you can go up to the file IO palette search changes the palette to search mode so you can perform text based searches to locate controls, VIs or functions on the palette. While a palette is in search mode, click the return button to exit search mode and return the palettes.
the customize provides options for selecting a format for the current palette showing and hiding categories for all palettes and if you have selected tree format then you can also sort alphabetically select options from the shortcut menu to display the controls functions palette page of the options dialog box in which you can select a format for all palettes this button appears only if you click the thumb tag in the upper left corner of a palette to pin the palettes Restore palette size. Resize the palette to its default size. This button appears only if you resize the controls or functions palette and you click the thumb tag in the upper left corner of a palette to pin the palette. You can use the add-ons category to access LabVIEW add-ons and to locate the palettes of some modules or toolkits that you have installed in LabVIEW. After you install a module or toolkit in LabVIEW, a palette that represents that module or toolkit appears in a relevant category on the functions palette for example database connectivity toolkit palette appears in the connectivity category some modules and toolkit palettes also appear in the add-ons category to view a palette in the add-ons category, browse the add-on category on the functions palette. You can determine whether a module or toolkit sub-palette has multiple owning palettes by searching for the module or toolkit on the functions palette. If the search produces multiple results, the sub palette has more than one location. The names of the owning palettes appears in brackets to the right of the sub palette name. You can choose whether to activate the license of the module or toolkit during installation. If you choose not to activate the module or toolkit license, an evaluation period begins when you launch LabVIEW, which allows you to evaluate the software for free for a set period of time. If you do not activate the license before the evaluation period expires, the module or toolkit palette disappears from the palette and you can no longer use the module or toolkit. Click the Find LabVIEW add-ons in the add-ons category to access LabVIEW add-ons and other code distributed on the LabVIEW tools network at ni.com slash LabVIEW tools network. If the JKI VI Package Manager VIPM software is installed, LabVIEW launches it. If the VI software is not installed, LabVIEW launches the LabVIEW Tools Network. Use the Favorites category to group together items on the Functions palette that you can access frequently. 
you can add items to the favorite category using the category standard category icons and text icons and icons and text formats to add items to the favorites category you need to tag the functions palette search for the function you want to add right click and then select add item to favorite that item is now added to the favorites category once an item is added to the favorites category you can also remove it by right clicking it and selecting remove item from the favorites <laughs> 